Beerus versus Goku. We learn two very major things in Battle of Gods that could give us insight into the future of the Dragon Ball Super story. Number one, that there are individuals in other universes that Beerus brings up for the first time. We find out that there are other universes in the Dragon Ball Super story. According to Beerus, there are individuals in these other universes that are even more powerful than himself. And number two, we learn exactly why Goku, when he taps into new power, he's able to master new power quickly. And we find this out when Goku utilizes Super Saiyan God for the first time, he loses the actual transformation, but Beerus notices no decline. Goku is fighting at the same power level, despite not being in Super Saiyan God, as when he tapped into that new power for the first time. According to Beerus, merely feeling the power of Super Saiyan God push Goku to new heights. This explains why Goku in the recent episode was able to tap into Ultra Instinct again, because while seemingly he achieved that power via luck, draining all of his energy, of course, and absorbing the spear bomb which broke his inner shell, his body learned that power and adapted to it, merely feeling that power push Goku to new heights again, and that's why he's seemingly able to unlock Ultra Instinct and pull it out now, seemingly whenever he wants, and you could feel about that how you want, of course. Y'all know how I feel about it, it's a little bit too fast in my eyes, and Goku knowing the process slash steps to using this power seems a little bit convenient, especially in the Tournament of Power when he desperately needs new power. Now, the Beerus vs. Goku rivalry stems back to the beginning of the series, and we know they're going to fight again. The first time they fought, Beerus was a monster, in every sense. His history was extremely cruel. Rule, Vegeta even had terrible memories of it. He threatened to destroy the Earth multiple times, and he's even partially responsible for the extinction of Goku's race, and they're both conveniently tied together, of course, now that the Saiyans, for the most part, are living on Earth. Now, the relationship took a turn, and it's quite different now. You could even say they're friends to an extent. But we know they're going to fight again, and this has been hinted in both versions of the Dragon Ball Super Story, the anime version and the manga version. Whis even offered up the position of God of Destruction in the future when Goku gets stronger, and Goku wants to fight Beerus again. Of course he does. He's excited fighting people stronger than him. That's always been what Goku's about. And that is part of the motivation, even though I feel like it's growing more and more as Goku becomes more selfish and he's all about fighting. It's part of the motivation alongside the fact that Goku wants to get stronger to basically be there to protect the Earth when the time comes, right? This is exactly why Goku and Vegeta both seek out training on Beerus' planet, specifically with Whis. And I mean, the whole Battle of Gods arc stem from the fact that Beerus had this vision about this Super Saiyan God and he was bored and he wanted a competitor. Well, recently in the manga, it was stated by some of the other gods that one day Goku and Vegeta would be serious contenders. Not necessarily for God of Destruction, but just when it comes to the overall strongest, most dominant force in the universe. So we know Goku's going to be there time and time again, chasing Beerus down when it comes to power levels and seemingly he's closer than ever before. I could even go as far as to say that he has Beerus in his sights now. And that's a pretty big deal to me because it shows me that Goku's power level is growing exponentially, so the gap between the two is growing smaller and smaller. In Dragon Ball Super Episode 18, Whis compared Goku and Vegeta's power level to Beerus, and he compared them, like, you know, to this little tree or whatever, not little, but it's a tree ultimately, and he compared that to this castle. The castle represents the power of the gods, Whereas their power is like, you know, right next to them, literally a tree, nothing. We know they're going to fight and we know this. The next time they will fight, it will truly be a battle of gods. That name will truly apply to the second fight, the second serious fight that they'll have because Goku was not a god when Battle of Gods came out. Yes, he had Super Saiyan God, but when he was really up against a god, did he seem godly? No. No, he didn't seem godly. Now, before I quell this rivalry, I want to give you guys some assurance. I am not a Toei writer. I am not Toriyama. I am not Toyotaro. I don't know exactly why they're going to fight. I do know they'll fight, though. One theory I have is that because Beerus is slowly losing control over Goku, and this is something we've seen right before the tournament started, and he's constantly getting angrier and angrier at Goku, that he's putting himself into this position near Zenosama, where that could threaten everything, just life as a whole. Because he's losing hegemony and superiority over decision-making, and Goku's being this rebellious boy, eventually that's going to be addressed in a way to where Beerus probably ends up fighting him. And this fight's going to get very serious because 
Goku's going to feel like the decisions that Beerus is making aren't the best ones. His ego might grow and it might get tested, which might end up as a good thing, right? And Goku might realize, okay, listen, I'm just spinning out of control and I need to calm down. And some of you now might be saying, well, isn't the Tournament of Power serious enough, right? Like all these universes could be extinct. The way they could explain that is that Beerus is so scared of Zenosama that his fear overrides any kind of hatred he has for the fact that he's losing power and control and Goku's being rebellious because we know Beerus is just flat out scared of the Omni King. Now, the reason I'm making this video ultimately is because I'm a little bit conflicted when it comes to the power levels. I can't fully answer the question, but I can give you guys sort of an idea that maybe lets a lot of you guys answer it for yourselves and we can believe what we want, but we won't really know until it's fully addressed. If Toei's writing is consistent, which is not, alright? Um, then Goku defeating a more powerful character like Jiren, and I say more powerful because in Battle of Gods it was stated that there was, you know, characters more powerful than Beerus, obviously referring to Jiren. I believe Jiren was conceptualized way back during Battle of Gods. They were planning to drop him on us eventually, and they were just trying to figure out exactly when. If Goku's able to bring someone like Jiren down using a transformation slash state of mind like Ultra Instinct or Mastery of Self Movement, which by the way, Beerus has not mastered himself, then you could say he's somewhere in Beerus's power level range. If he mastered it, he would have been able to dodge all of the gods of destructions at the same time, whereas he eventually got restrained by Moscow, another god of destruction. But then again, maybe the other gods of destructions also use Ultra Instinct. I don't know exactly, you know, how many characters know Ultra Instinct, which characters specifically use it, but we do know that Beerus himself still needs to work on it. I stated this in my recent review, but I truly feel like Jiren possibly mastered Ultra Instinct, or he's further down the line in his Ultra Instinctness than someone like Beerus. His dodging of the Kachi Kachins is very reminiscent of Goku's dodging of Kaplos Blasts, and I'd be willing to bet that if Jiren is still working on mastering Ultra Instinct, again, this is because he has acquired the max that a mortal can attain, and only the angels can master the true Ultra Instinct, because they're angels, they're pure-hearted, it's natural to them, whereas a mortal has to work up their, you know, mental state and me possibly meditate in order to reach those high abilities. And same thing goes for somebody like Beerus, who's not an angel, despite the fact that he's a god. He does not come from an angelic race or a pure hearted race. In fact, when he was originally conceptualized, it was like an idea that Beerus is cruelness is what gave the Saiyans their aggressiveness and the fact that they always want to fight. He actually poisoned them. If Goku's able to bring Jiren down, someone who's mastered something that Beerus himself has not mastered or possibly mastered it beyond, and again, this is all speculation, we don't know exactly where each of these characters stand with Ultra Instinct or what Ultra Instinct really is exactly. Well, Goku is again going to be near, at the very least, Beerus's power level. But where I'm conflicted is like, yo, Goku cannot wipe out a solar system like Beerus or a universe when fighting another god, and the only excuse that I could really use to justify, you know, an argument in my head against this is like, maybe power levels are expressed in different ways, because here's the thing, we know even amongst the gods of destructions, the power levels vary a lot. Like, you know, Beerus dispersed Sidra's energy of destruction very easily. But that energy of destruction seems to be something that all the gods of destructions have. Maybe the ability to destroy universes or destroy things on a massive level like that, it's a specific power acquired by those who end up being gods of destructions. And if Goku one day ends up being a god of destruction, he'll have that same power as well. But that power is a little bit different than combat power. I don't know exactly. In Battle of Gods, it was stated according to Whis that Beerus was using 70% or around 70% of his power. But... Then again, this was retconned in the Dragon Ball Super anime, and that ended up not being the case. In fact, Beerus has lied about his power level. At one point, he said he was using 100%. It's clear to me that Toriyama's being very vague about Beerus' power level because they don't want to write themselves into a corner where they can't end up doing certain arcs in the future that they want to do because Goku is stronger than the God of Destruction in his universe, which keeps the balance of things and the order in the series. If I had to make an estimate of the amount of power Beerus displayed when Goku and him were fighting Sirius in Battle of Gods, I know it's going to be very vague, guys, and don't get mad at me, but it's going to have to be somewhere between 10% and 50%, and let me tell you why. If Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 worried Beerus, and it got him pretty nervous, even though he still felt more powerful, and Shin eventually stated that Super Saiyan Blue Vegito may be stronger than Beerus. That was what this god was sensing. It could only be that the amount of power he used against Super Saiyan God originally would be less than half 
but definitely not less than 10%. We're comparing God transformations at the end of the day, because while a fusion could explain a huge increase in power, it would, of course, right? Goku and Vegeta have grown so much themselves, and that explains the majority of the power that Shin felt. Like, Shin was feeling like, yo, those two together fused is stronger than Beerus. That's because Goku and Vegeta have gotten so much stronger than Goku back during Battle of Gods. So, if I had to make a prediction when comparing those transformations to the God of Destruction, yeah, I would say somewhere around 10 to 50%. I know that's very vague. I mean, 10% is a lot different than half, but I can't really say anything else. To quell this rivalry, all I can say is that Goku, after the Tournament of Power, using Ultra Instinct a couple more times, he's going to be close to Beerus' power level, probably within the range of 70% to 100%. And we might end up seeing Whis train Goku and Vegeta because Whis was the first one that introduced Ultra Instinct, and then he trains Beerus, and Beerus wants serious competitors. He actually wants to fight himself. He doesn't like to sleep around all the time, and he only does that because he's bored. And I honestly think this fight will happen sooner than later. I think the peak that Goku is going to try and climax by the end of the series is Angel level, or Angelic level, because I believe we're going to address the whole Grand Prix situation, because I don't feel like he could be fully trusted. The Goku vs. Beerus rivalry will be quelled sooner than expected, probably in the next couple of arcs. And to be honest with you, they could even make a movie about this, right? Just like Battle of Gods, it's almost like a tradition. They even registered the name, the, the website, the domain. Maybe this movie could be like a Battle of Gods too. That would be absolutely insane. And honestly, this would really be a Battle of Gods, whereas the first one was really just a god coming up out of nowhere and destroying everybody, really. Like, that's what happened. And I think what would make things different this time around is that Goku didn't believe in his power in Battle of Gods. He felt like it wasn't his own, like all these other Saiyans had to unlock this power within himself. Whereas Ultra Instinct seems to be a little bit different, right? That power is his, and it's his alone. Although to be fair, it was a spirit bomb, which was other people's power that he had to absorb in order to unlock it. When they'll be fighting Sirius at the very least, he won't be in that state of mind to where this isn't my power. Whereas he was in that state of mind when he first started fighting Beerus in Battle of Gods. Whereas he was in that state of mind when he fought Beerus for the first time. Anyways guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about Beerus versus Goku?